Aries, hi. So um, this is going to be a reading for August 10th through the 16th. And uh, I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll uh, close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Aries. All right, so the overall energy for the reading, the Page of Swords. This is... Um, Somebody kind of putting in effort, but not as much as they did in the past, you know? Um, going towards something or someone, again, not as much. In the recent past, you get the King of Pentacles, the Hermit, and the Page of Cups. This is somebody that's very determined, somebody that is very... They know exactly what they want, where they give emotions to where they give their love to pretty much it could be you it could be somebody around you i kind of feel like this is somebody around you more than you um in terms of this is a person that's very practical very grounded and they do have a lot of emotions but they don't just you know throw them out there everybody gets some you know it's no it doesn't work like that for this person could be you um for the current situation, you get the King of Swords, the Death card, and the Knight of Pentacles. Again, the King of Swords is somebody that's very determined, and this overall energy is of the Page of Swords. Given that uh, this determination that somebody went after something with is no longer at that highest peak, I see somebody still trying, but not, again, not as much as they did in the past. And things are moving pretty slow. Things are moving at a decent pace in the direction that you want them to move towards but given that the lack of commitment and determination is there yeah we'll see this is a very interesting kind of reading for a fire sign i feel a lot of down down boy kind of energy you know kind of like very grounded very not fiery in the immediate future you get the temperance card the king of wands and the six of pentacles talk about temperance for you you know you're showing up here with you are gonna be more tempered more patient more because your life is starting to get into balance here um somehow you know your your everything your environment is gonna start um falling into this very balanced place which is going to temper you or is going to help you temper yourself let's uh clarify can you stop doing that with the paw uh let's see let's clarify the page of swords The Devil card, the King of Swords, and the Nine of Cups. So whoever this is, and I kind of feel like this is you, you lost your... Um, you think you lost your... What is that? Desire for something, you know? So that's why there's no more determination like like it used to be um you think you lost your passion your desire for something you didn't it's still there it's still there underneath it all it's masked by this devil card it's masked by uh something that you need to work through something that you need to take a look at now i don't know what it is but it's something that's kind of shadowing you kind of like not letting you see that the determination for what you think makes you happy 
is still there within you. The drive is still there within you. It's being masked by this devil card and it's showing up into the world as, eh, whatever. You know, kind of a shallow energy of, yeah, I'm still going to go for it, but I don't care for it as much. You do. It's in there. Somewhere within you. Could be a person, could be a situation that you're heading towards, but... <sighs> you didn't lose it. It's still there. Let's see. Let me clarify the hermit in the recent past. Nine of Swords, the Knight of Swords, and the Page of Cups. So whoever this is, and again, it could be you, um, given that this reading is going so smooth and so slow, you could be in this energy. Uh, whoever this is has been heard in the past when it comes to love. Like, they expressed love all over the place, and people took it, people did whatever they wanted with it, and this person ended up getting hurt. Um, so I feel like it's shown up a little different these days for you, if this is you, in terms of you're more, um, attentive with your emotions, who you give them to, how you give them to, and all of that. You're not all over the place when it comes to that anymore. Again, if this is you, um... Let's clarify the Page of Cups there in the recent past. The Chariot, the Four of Cups, and the Ace of Cups. Again, falling into that kind of old energy of, I'm rushing in because it feels so good and I'm going to give it my all here, you know? Um... And that brought a lot of discontent in the end, kind of like, why the hell did I did that? D did I do that? You know, why why did I rush in? Why did I give my love here? Why did I give all of my love here? You know, it brought in a lot of that for you. But I feel like there was a special case in here that made you feel that way. Like you couldn't help it. Yes, in the past, you may have been more... You take love, you take love, you take love of wh whoever, whatever. Um, and now, even though you're more cautious about that, there still was this person that you felt that you wanted to give everything to, right? So I feel like even though you worked on yourself a lot in that aspect, you just couldn't help it this time around. Um, okay, so now I'm kind of seeing why you're burying this. I don't want it anymore, you know? Let's clarify the King of Swords. In the current situation, the Eight of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, the Four of Swords. Whatever's coming out from you here is, or from the other person, is ending. So whatever is being communicated here with the Eight of Wands, if it is being communicated, it might be just um, given energetically. But everything that's coming from this King of Swords here is, this is done. There's no way back out of this. There's no way this is done. And somebody feels and thinks and knows that this is done. It could be you. And is healing from that because it's painful for them, even though they know that. So whoever this is, they're in that energy. That's why they can't find the drive anymore, you know, to do something for it because they think it's done. So why should they do anything? Clarify the death card. The fool, the wheel of fortune, and the seven of wands. So there was this energy of, I want it, I don't want it. I want it, I don't want it anymore. I want it, I don't want it. And I feel like it lasted for quite some time with you until you decided that, no, I don't want it anymore. It's done. Um, there was this on and off kind of energy that you've held on to. Until you decided to stick to only one, which was possibly it's done. Let's clarify the Knight of Pentacles here in the current situation. 
The Page of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Empress. This person is still open. I don't see them necessarily coming towards you, maybe, at times, maybe through dreams or whatever the case. I don't see them physically throwing themselves at you. Um, it's happening energetically. They are coming towards you. They're here for you. They're always open. On your part, though, the door may be shut. Let's clarify the temperance in the immediate future. The Page of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Tower. You're going to have a comeback. You're going to have something that's going to tell you you need to go back. You need to do this and that and the other. You need to start working on it. You know, um, and it's going to come in with the Tower moment. It's going to come in with temperance. It's going to come in with transformation for you. It's not going to happen just because the universe has a dark sense of humor it's gonna happen because you still need to learn things from here you know so there might be something within you that tells you i'm not done there even though right now you seem very determined that you are let me clarify the king of wands the eight of swords the eight of cups and the three of pentacles yeah a lot of confusion around how to detach yourself emotionally from this. You may have to face this person. You may work with this person or something. I feel like the physical aspect is here. What you're interested in is getting yourself out of feeling what you're feeling. You can't force that. But you're going to try to here. Let's clarify the Six of Pentacles. The Knight of Cups, the Ten of Swords, and the Knight of Pentacles. There's still this need to balance things out with this person. There's still this want to fix a situation or to, you know. Um, but what's making you feel like it can be done is the energy that it's moving uh, with. Which is very, very slow. Things are moving in between the two of you, but very slow. To the point where it's kind of discouraging you. Kind of like, screw it. I don't want it anymore. It's too slow for me. You know? So, what's giving you a sense of defeat here is the slow energy that this, the slow pace that this is moving with here. You know? Let's see what the universe has. The Empress, the Three of Cups, and the Strength card. This person does want you. They want you. As I said, they're moving towards you, but now they're showing up with the reconciliation card. So they want this with you. Again. You're showing up right now as the door is locked here. You can go find another door, you know. So uh, that's what I have for you, Aries. Uh, hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.